Where's my box? I'm bringing one. Why? I don't know why you haven't made one yet. I know. Just make one out of wood and leave it here. We can write on it, Dan's box, because Dan's it's short. short box. Dan's short box. <laughs> I need a box to stand next to Josh. Hey guys, <laughs> we're at Spokane Valley Archery in Spokane Valley, Washington. Josh Jones, this is the guy. I always say I have an archery coach. What I really mean is I just have an archery expert who can answer all my technical questions and usually give me more information than I really need to know, more than I can comprehend. But today, we're working on the Vertex. I've got to hunt with it. I just shot a bear with it a few days ago. And coming back from my first hunt in the field, I want to make some tweaks. So here's the first thing I want to tweak on this setup. Peep. What do we have there for a peep right now? Okay, well this is a 3 16th peep. It's a Hamsky Raptor peep. And we were just having a discussion before we started filming this about having difficulty seeing through your peep in a, a low light situation where it was still plenty enough to film, plenty enough to see perfectly legal shooting light, but you drew back and you couldn't quite see through it. And my belief of why you're having that problem is two things. One, it's black, so it's a little harder to see in low light. It gets fuzzy, it gets granular. But I think your peep size is too small. I think with the way you anchor and the way you hold your head in, yeah. your eye's a little farther away from the string than the average person. I have a big person. nose too. So I wasn't going to point that I'm, out. I'm going to point that out. So, and, <laughs> hey, you're just given what you're given. So my eye is further from the string than, say, someone with not a huge Italian nose like yeah, mine. So yeah. If you're putting the tip of your nose on the string like most people should for a good solid anchor point, it's not a push it down on the string. It's a light touch. So if your nose is a little longer, your head's actually up more and your eye is substantially farther from the peep. Yep. So the smaller peep is going to look even immensely smaller when you go to look at your front housing. So what we're going to do here is take this out of here and put a quarter inch peep in here which sounds a little big but for the way dan anchors it's actually probably going to work really well plus we're on a shorter axle to axle we're on a 30 inch bow here also is going to increase how far the peep is away from your eyeball yeah so it's going to make it look smaller i can't shoot a 30 inch axle to axle bow because i have a 30 inch draw length a decent sized nose and when i anchor it's too small yeah i can't see all the way around the housing and if you can't get a tiny bit of daylight around here just tiny not big just enough to tell that you can see a full circle on a full circle you're probably going to lose your ability to transmit light in a low light situation where you can still see and still make things out, but you can't quite see it when you look through that peep. So we're going to change it to a quarter inch. 90% of hunting scenarios are not going to be middle of the Ma day. The magic time, it's hard to see. And yep. so people constantly struggle with how can I, I know I'm in legal shooting light. How can I keep shooting? So what we're going to put in there is this glow, glow light peep from Radical Archery and this has an impregnated glow-in-the-dark material in it Ooh. so if you hit it with a little bit of light or if it's been sitting out in the sun yeah. right before dark it has a light light glow to it so it's not so dark so when you're putting it on trying to circle up in low light you can see it a little better so but more than anything we're changing to a quarter inch we just picked this one to get that extra little bit of light so we're going to throw that on there and see how it works for you He didn't sit a tree stand for that bear, right? I think there's a ground and pound setup we did.
Okay. So now it's under and you can let go of it. Oh, okay. And you can do your two and a half or one, two, two point five. And your half. And then now you can kind of pull on it and rotate your peep to where you can get to that. And this is part of your problem is you got way, way, too way too long. Can I just cut it? Mm-hmm. But before you do that, I'm gonna get it to where I can let go of it again, and then you can have it back. So pull it and now it's underneath and you can let go of it. Okay. How about how much can I cut off this being awesome. Same deal on the opposite side. Oh, And pull it. Uh, yeah, you can pull tight. Pull it this way, I assume. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna do the, the ten rotations on this side. Then you're gonna pull that. Oh, you want to keep it like this so it doesn't roll on top of each other. Ten rotations. Okay. Then uh, you're gonna pull that tag in across this side, and you're gonna take that loop and re-ravel it over it so it runs the serving down over the tag end through here. kids have problems with because they don't know how to use their fingers <laughs> yeah a couple more should these be tight uh it will tighten up when you that's what i thought let's we'll just keep it on the right side yeah about there okay all right so you have right here you're gonna come to this make sure this is somewhat tight and just start unraveling it. And just try to keep this this line tight. This line doesn't need to be too tight. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to do that so many more times <laughs> to get that. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, which I want it. Is that thing recording? Is there a red? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Just keep going. Cause it's unraveling, right? Yep. Until it's all the way done. And you just pull that tag in tight. Just pull it? Yep. Oh my god, Ryan. That's so Okay. Yeah, I like to give mine a good pull on both sides, tighten that one up a little bit and cut it. Pull, which way should I pull on this one? So you're gonna wanna pull to your left. Okay. Cut them and burn them. Cut them, burn them. Hot and stock? Yeah. Yeah. I watched your Instagram video. That canyon that you're hunting in there, that seems really cool. Yeah, I haven't taken Colton in there yet, but. You said that. I had been in there twice. There and I, I rotate over here. And I look back on this hillside that I was at and there's bears below me over there. Dang, you're just, you're in the perfect spot. Oh no, I really. So what I would do is I'd put this in here. Take a shuffling mark in the center of the shaft. And then I'd take this measurement, make a sharpie mark in the center of the shaft, and when you put your new rest in, let's go. Okay, boom, go ahead and do it. Boom, I'm gonna make you do it. Okay, okay. That's the center of the burger hole. Yeah. Or, yeah, it is. You guys should probably use that same There's one. There's no burger button on this, is there? 
Oh, uh, your bird hole's right here. Okay. Yep. Uh, you could use the same dot almost because it's like on the outside of your shaft, exactly. Okay. So you just go middle. Yeah. So middle of the arrow is on that mark, and yep. then the outside of the shaft is on the top. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The guy can shoot a bow. It's here. So you only need to pull it two tight that's why they have this adjustment this here. Yeah. here. Oh. You're on the opposite side of the string here. The, the pull it to down. Side Come here. From some other of side. Yeah, you can, I mean, make that a little hoop like pretty much. Uh, pull it through. Pull it tight. That. And you do it one more time. Just like that. You always want to make sure you're pulling this tag in towards your cam. Some so you know you have not right. Some don't, okay. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a preference. So if you just I like mean, that, then I'll cut it and burn it. You don't ever have to here. You can. Oh, I'm getting one. Slide correctly. Now that I'm watching it on it there, I'll find the last little piece. Well, this is off. You want to call it a little O-ring they put on here? Oops. On the back side of your drop wrist, down like that, that. You can, yeah, and I'll pull that tight. There you go. That's tight enough. Yep. So it's all right. Just Maybe like that. Okay. If I have a bullet hole this first shot, we'll I'll just probably walk away. Just walk out of here. Next year, you want to buy one person the opportunity on every bow model that exists. Purchase a bow all the year, all that. Okay. Video. Matthews. Right there. That's never happened. Matt, well, you just There's set everything center. And it's what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I mean, like, I've created all this room. Like, oh, I'm going to have to shoot 30 arrows to this thing. Pause and do what I did, Grant. You need a